Hi everyone, so in this video, I'll be sharing how you can sync your Outlook calendar into your personal Google calendar. So let's just get started. So what you have to first do is that you have to sign into your work calendar and you click on the share button over here. Under sharing and permissions, you key in your personal email address that you want to share this calendar into. And right here, you can see, make sure that set as can view when I'm busy just for privacy reasons. Click on share. Okay, so now you have to head over to your personal email, which is um, Gmail in this case. And you should be able to receive this email um, that says you're invited to share this calendar. So an important step here is that do not click on add this calendar because it will link you to Outlook's um, website and ask you to sign up for their Outlook email account. So instead, what you have to do is hover over this URL, right click, click on copy link address. So once the link is being copied, you go on to your um, Google Calendar and under settings, the gear icon here, click on settings and you click add calendar from URL. So you paste and you click add calendar. Okay, so now calendar added. So you should be able to see your calendar over here and you can just rename your calendar to work. Okay, so go back and now there you go. You should be able to see all your work um, calendar being input into your Google Calendar. So let's say if you're also a student and you want to sync your school calendar into your personal and work calendar, what you can actually do is same thing. You go on to settings, you go to add calendar, and you click on create new calendar. So in this case, you can just create a calendar called school. Okay, and okay, so it should pop up right here. Okay, so just now I've tested it. So I'll just delete the um, previous one. So, okay. So now you have a school calendar right here. So what you actually have to do now is you head on over to your school portal. Okay, so right here I have mine and then you, under the class and exam schedule, you click on download current class and exam schedule. So an ICS file should be downloaded here. Okay, so what you have to do now is you go back to your Google Calendar, you click on import and export calendar. So under input export, you just um, open the ICS file. So just take a note that ICS file, ICS calendars are static, which means that whatever changes you make to the file, it won't be reflected um, automatically. But this is not a problem for your, usually it's not a problem for your class and exam schedule because they are more or less fixed, right? The timing of your class and your exams. So, even if it's not fixed, don't worry because you can just edit the timing manually later on. So, okay, import into your school calendar. You should be able to click on import. So once you click on import, your university's lecture should be reflected here. And you can see all at one glance, your school schedule, your work schedule, as well as your personal calendar schedule. So that's all for this video and I hope you found it useful. And if you do, do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.